What the heck is up guys, it's your boy Henry Rex. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. I thought since we just reviewed the Marvel Collector Core box, which is made by Funko. If you have not seen that video, go check it out. It's about 15, 20 minute opening, but that's because something crazy wrong happened with it. I'll just give you a preview. Yeah, we're gonna wanna check out that video. See what's inside, A, eh? what kind of Funko exclusives are inside, but also how badly they're beat up and who is responsible. So I'll link I'll link that video, the Deadpool Marvel Funko video, in the description. But that video is not this video. This video we're gonna talk about a different Funko figure that I ordered uh, maybe a week or two ago. And I have not seen a ton of unboxing videos on YouTube about on it, so I thought. What the heck, might as well do a review and unboxing of it. So as you can see, I'm wearing the Ninja headband. And I also have the Ninja Lamo figure here. I did an unboxing of those two and a review of those two. I will link that video in the description as well in case you want to see them, that full video. But that's just there for comparison to this. Now thankfully, I ordered this from Amazon. Thankfully, it came in very good condition. The only error with it is where is it oh yes pretty big crease on the back but that's just a factory crease doesn't decrease the value a whole lot still 9 out of 10 box I'm trying to get the light so you guys can see it it's right there on the side but yeah without further ado it was this one was pub packaged with bubble wrap and you know everything to make sure it got here fine and so, this is a factory error, it's not an Amazon error. That one, the Funko Marvel Deadpool one, that was an Amazon error. Go check out that video, like I said. But here we have the Ninja Funko Pop. This is an official Funko Pop. You can purchase it on Amazon, you can purchase it, I haven't seen it in stores, but uh, yeah, you purchase it on a whole bunch of different websites. Um, I'm super excited to get it. I'm a pretty big Ninja fan, um, watch him a decent amount, subscribe to him on YouTube obviously. Um, very interested where he's going to start streaming again, whether it's going to be on YouTube or Twitch. It's looking like YouTube, but he hasn't made that announcement yet. Definitely not Mixer, we know that much since Mixer is dead. But anyway, I digress, I don't know if I showed you guys the bottom or the top. But yeah, I like on the back how there's a big picture of the man himself, the man of the hour, Tyler Blevins, aka Ninja. We're going to open this from the bottom. That way, the least amount of box damage occurs. Here's, his, I guess, a serial number. It says... 47169PKG underscore ninja underscore pop underscore C1. That's interesting. Slide this out. And wow, this pop is detailed. Wow, I'm actually extremely impressed. Let's get into it. Here is the figure, the Funko Pop of Ninja. See, he's got his very detailed hair, he's got his eyebrows detailed. There is no printing on his headband at all. But he does have his logo, his Ninja logo, on the shirt. The same logo you see there. That little blue Ninja head. That is on the shirt. Shoes have colored laces and uh, blue coloring on them. His katanas do have the colored straps. And on the inside of his arms, I'll show you guys, but he has his actual arm tattoo printed onto the Funko Pop with surprisingly good accuracy. So I'll show you the shirt print. Let's see if I can get it. I'm not sure if it is zooming in, but that should help it. See that is um arm printing his tattoo hopefully you guys are able to see that I'll show you the back of the Funko Pop 
And now for the reason I actually wanted to show the Lamo figure as well. Oh, by the way, I purchased this for the regular price of $10.99. Um, so there was no deal on it. But I just wanted to have one because I do like Ninja. And I like Funko Pops. So this was one I had always planned on getting. Let's compare him to the Lamo figure. Which is what the meat of the video is going to be. So, let's see. He is substantially smaller and shorter than his Lamo figure. Um, his Lomo figure is a little bit more expressive as a compared to the Funko Pops um, solid black eyes and just no mouth, I guess. Um, but this Funko Pop figure, the sculpt itself is more detailed, and I believe the printing itself is more detailed as well. Sure, on this one he's got his ninja shirt. Um, but he doesn't have any swords on the back. Nothing at all like that. He does have headphones, which is something this one does not have. But I think I actually prefer it without um, headphones, to be honest. So I think this, personally, they both have charm. This one is a little bit more of a... Feels like a spongy plastic. Not spongy, but... Definitely tell it's a little hollow. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Little little hollow. It's not completely solid plastic. Whereas this one, pretty sure it's just regular Funko. I'm not sure if the heads are solid, but I know the bodies are at least. Um, this one's kind of odd because it's got this weird printing on the back, which I really kind of wish they had printed on the bottom or somewhere out of sight instead of like right there on his head. Uh, I do like this figure, like I said, and it has a lot of charm. However, the thing is, when it comes down to price, and, and uh, well, I do like this one more in terms of both sculpt and print, so I do like this figure more. However, this one's good. Uh, the main difference comes down to the price, in my opinion. This retails for 20 I got it on deep discount for 5 That's why I picked it up. This one retails for 11 um, probably f potentially find it somewhere for sale, but it does retail for 11 and that is what I paid. Um, I believe that the Funko is worth the $11. It is the superior figure, in my opinion. Um, what it all boils down to, basically, is what you're doing with the figure. If you're getting the figure for a child who's going to want to play with it and be a little more rough with the figure, you're going to go for the lay up if you're um, looking for a high, higher quality figure, but uh, one that you're going to want to display and not really play with, the Funko is the way to go. Both have their own unique charms. Um, both are worth it. You know, if you're a Ninja fan, I would definitely be able to recommend both of these figures to you. Um, but I can see that they are fulfilling different market niches. Um, so yeah, um, it's just about all I have to say, I showed off the Ninko, Ninja Funko, Ninko, the Ninja Funko, and I compared it with the Slamo. but, uh, yeah, let me know which, in the comments, do you prefer the Ninja Funko, or do you prefer the Ninja Lamo? If you had to get one, if you were, if you were gonna get one, which one would you go for? and why, just a short little description of why. I'd go for, if I had to only get one, I'd go for the Funko Pop, just because it's a lot more detailed and I already have a collection of Funko Pops. Um, but I could definitely understand you wanting to go for the lame if that's more your thing. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we do uploads every Monday and Friday. Um, Please slap a like on the video and check out the videos I linked in the description. I linked to the Deadpool Funko mystery box and I also linked the review for these two items. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Henry Rex out.